Ever wondered how, in a world so advanced, nearly 690 million people still go to bed hungry each night? It's a paradox, isn't it? While we're sending rockets to Mars and creating artificial intelligence, there's a vast population who don't even know where their next meal is coming from. This stark contradiction of hunger amidst prosperity is a pressing issue in our times. But don't lose hope just yet. The United Nations has a plan to change this. It's called the Sustainable Development Goal 2. The UN's second Sustainable Development Goal, or SDG Goal 2, aims at zero hunger by 2030. A world without hunger, imagine that. It's bold, it's ambitious, and it's exactly what we need to strive for. Let's delve into the crux of this goal. It's not just about putting food on everyone's plate, it's about ensuring the right kind of food. That means achieving food security and improving nutrition for all. And how do we do that? By promoting sustainable agriculture, of course. It's about growing food in a way that's kind to our planet and ensures future generations won't go hungry. This goal takes a holistic approach to the hunger problem. It's not just about the quantity of food, but the quality too. Nutrition is a key aspect in this grand scheme. After all, what good is food if it doesn't nourish us properly? This goal not only focuses on hunger, but also on the type of food we consume, making nutrition a key aspect. Now you may wonder, how does the UN plan to achieve this ambitious goal? Let's delve into that. The United Nations, through its Sustainable Development Goal 2, has proposed a handful of solutions. The first one is sustainable agriculture practices. By fostering an agricultural system that is not only productive but also kind to the earth, we can produce more food while reducing environmental impact. Next, there's the importance of genetic diversity. This means preserving a wide range of plant and animal species. It's like putting all our eggs in different baskets. If one crop fails, we have others to fall back on. Now, let's talk about investment in rural infrastructure. By investing in things like roads, irrigation and storage facilities, we can help small farmers to grow more and lose less. Then comes technology. From satellite imaging for better crop management to mobile apps connecting farmers with markets, technology is a powerful tool in the fight against hunger. Last but not least, we have fair trade systems. By ensuring that farmers are paid a fair price for their produce, we can encourage more people to take up farming and thus increase food production. All these solutions require collaboration and commitment from every corner of the globe. The goal is ambitious, but with concerted effort, the dream of a world with zero hunger is not out of reach.